Welcome to iElvis. The data conventionally acquired as part of the evaluation for epilepsy surgery are a uniquely detailed window on human brain function, which is greatly advancing our understanding of the human brain and of epilepsy. However, analyzing these data comes with unique technical challenges, such as identifying the anatomical location of intracranial electrodes. To help researchers overcome these challenges and to speed the pace of discovery, we have created the iElvis Toolbox, a software package for intracranial electrolocalization and visualization. Specifically, iElvis consists of MATLAB and BASH programs for the following four general functions. Number one, identifying the anatomical locations of electrodes relative to pre-implant structural MRIs. In particular, we offer two methods for correcting electrolocations for post-implant brain shift. The first is an algorithm from Dijkstra and colleagues, and the second from Yang Wang et al. In addition, iElvis can map electrolocations to four free server anatomical atlases. This allows users to identify which electrodes are over or in regions such as the hippocampus, major gyri, and the default mode network. Thirdly, iElvis includes software for mapping electrolocations to the free server average brain. This enables users to combine data for multiple patients. Finally, we also have tools for simultaneous visualization of intracranial electrode and neuroimaging data. For example, this figure illustrates an overlay of three different methods for mapping hand sensory motor cortex. The Perula color scale on the lower left indicates fMRI activation during a finger tapping task, with warmer colors indicating greater activity during finger tapping relative to rest. Note that with iElvis, you can take advantage of free surface methods for inflating the brain to visualize sulcal activity as illustrated with the brains on the left. The blue-red electrode color scale indicates intracranial EEG activity during a similar finger tapping task, with red indicating greater activity during finger tapping. Finally, the lines between electrodes represent the results of electrically stimulating pairs of electrodes. Red bars indicate that stimulating those electrodes produced a hand movement or a sensation, and black lines indicate that stimulating those electrodes produce some other effect or no effect at all. So that is what iElvis currently offers. To get started, please see the tutorial materials on the wiki. If you have any questions or would like to contribute to iElvis, please see our user community notes on the wiki homepage. Thank you.